The Director of National Air Traffic Services, NATS, has stated that the flight confusion brought on by a data processing error shouldn't occur again. Martin Rolf told the BBC that precautions were taken to guard against the, incredibly rare, system breakdown that resulted in the cancellation of hundreds of flights. He remarked, if that happens again, we can fix it very, very rapidly. A nightmarish bank holiday Monday awaited thousands of passengers, many of whom were stranded both abroad and in the UK. Many individuals rushed to rebook flights while others slept on the floors of airports or in makeshift mattresses. After organising alternate modes of transportation and lodging in the wake of Monday's cancellation of more than 1,500 flights, passengers claimed they were left out of pocket. The majority of aircraft in UK airspace are under NAT's control, and it receives millions of flight plans annually. Every flight path that airlines submit to the National Control Centre should be automatically shared with NAT's controllers. However, NAT's got data on Monday that it was unable to process.